Hello everyone, it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to do a flip through of the Simply Charlotte Mason Learning About Birds, a Living Science Handbook. So I wanna take you through this and show you what's inside. If you have a bird lover, I think you will love this. Or if you're just looking for something for a nature study that's spelled out for you, then this would also be great. So we have the table of contents and introduction, and basically it says that the goal of this study is not just to be able to identify birds, but to study birds and study what they do and how they act and things like that. So of course they do want the kiddos to be able to identify birds, but really just notice them and study them. So one important part that you'll need to know is the materials needed. There's Blackie the Crow. You can uh, purchase it online or you can download it on gutenberg.org. And then you need the Burgess Bird Book for Children, 50 Favorite Birds Coloring Book, crayons, colored pencils, or watercolor pencils, Handbook of Nature Study is optional, and a bird field guide. Okay, then we have a suggested schedule for a year of study. So we have about two lessons a week. There are 60 lessons. Okay, then we get into the lessons themselves. So it tells you the materials needed at the top. So for example, lesson one, you'll need the Burgess Bird Book for Children, the Bird Field Guide, 50 Favorite Birds Coloring Book, or a sketchbook, crayons, colored pencils, or watercolor pencils, and copy of pages 46 to 53 if desired. Now I'm going to turn right now to 46 to 53 to show you what those look like. It simply has some titles at the top, so you could do these on blank paper, in a notebook, in a sketchbook. That would be really easy to do. You don't really need to actually make the copies, but you can if you want to. And then it gives a description of what to do. And I'm going to read one lesson for you just so you kind of get the feel of it. So give your student a bird field guide and ask him to find a house wren in it. Ask him what he notices about the wren from its picture. Explain that the wren in the book you will be reading this year knows a lot about birds and is quick to share what she knows. Read together the Burgess Bird Book for Children, Chapter 1, Jenny Wren Arrives, and ask for an oral narration. Let the students look at and color the picture of the house wren on page 24 of the 50 Favorite Birds Coloring Book or draw and color a house wren in their sketchbook using the bird field guide for reference. Jot down in the margins of the page any notes about the wren's habits that they discovered from the chapter. The written notes can be optional for younger students but should be encouraged for older ones. And then there's notes on the side. So there's teaching tips. Um, if you want to include the bird habitats in the world of Thornton Burgess feature, see page 45, introduce that idea to your students and write the house wren on the appropriate page. Teaching tip, make sure the students drawing the birds in a sketchbook label their drawings. So if they're not coloring, if they're actually sketching, then you want to make sure that they're label, labeling them. And it gives you a nature study idea uh, for lesson two. Make a copy of pages 38 to 41 and use it to compile a master list of all the birds you and your children see during the study. So let me show you those pages. So birds we have seen. So you can put this on a clipboard and take it with you uh, when you go outside or not on nature studies or even on vacation. So you see different birds in different parts of the state or city or country or world, depending on where you go on vacation. So that is what this looks like. It's got these short, simple lessons with these great teaching tips along the side. So it's really quite nice. And I also like how it tells you like so far, you have colored these birds. So if you get off track, you can figure it out. But that's what this looks like. So I hope that was helpful. We have the birds we have seen and then the bird habitats pages that I already showed you. So let me know if you have any questions and as always, I'll see you in the next one.